guys are, are explaining to you what this huge piece of machinery is behind us. All right. Thank you very much, Petty Officer Brown. Uh, like you, like Petty Officer Brown was saying, you are staying in engine room three of the arresting gear, okay? We are part of the V2 division, the largest division in the air department. It consists of the waste catapults, the bow catapults, VLA, CADL, and of course, the gear dogs. You see us with the, wearing a big A on our shirts. Catapults will be wearing a C. Uh, back here in the rest of here, we use hydraulic fluid and high pressure air to stop an aircraft. And I'll show you exactly how that works. There are two 1100 foot wires on each engine, uh, on each rest of your engine, okay? So that makes a total of 2200 feet of cable, all right? They're both reeved around the engine and they come out through each side and connect to a separate cable called the cross deck pendant, which is the one you see on the flight deck, okay? Uh, as bird comes in, that hook, the tail hook is going to grab that cable, it's going to yank it out. Now when that happens, the movement down here, that cable is going to pull this component called the crosshead. As this moves, it's going to move this metal rod into a cylinder where all the hydraulic fluid is stored. When this rod pushes that fluid out, it's going to send it through this valve right here. Now this right here, this is the heart of the engine. This right here meters the flow of fluid depending on the weight of the aircraft. Right? So there's an opening in here that's selected by a five flight control. Let me explain that. Right? For a heavier aircraft, there's a smaller opening. For a lighter aircraft, there's a bigger opening. Right? Once that fluid makes its way through there, it's going to come into this component called the accumulator. Inside the accumulator is a floating piston that separates the fluid and the air. Okay? So when that fluid pushes that piston, all that air is going to compress to 650 PSI. At that moment, this constant run out valve will go ahead and shut. Once that's shut, no more fluid will get through, no more purchase cable will be paid out on the flight deck, that aircraft will be stopped. 